Hey everybody, this is Guillermo with Live Trading with Guillermo. It is Saturday, July 16th, 2022. And this is my the Q&A video that I have been promise, promising you this week that I would put out. Um, I would say that this is probably my most important video that you've seen. Um, because, because there's a lot of very important information here um, that I really want to discuss with you. So, but first, first thing first, great news. I got my legal certificate just this morning. So I signed up, got my PA, um, signed all the paperwork, and uh, I did it. 50,000 through Lilu. Um, as you know, I have six already through Apex. Uh, one more on the way, 150,000 uh, by the end of the this coming week. But Lilo is a little bit tougher, actually. And, and, and as, you, as you guys are figuring it out, uh, getting funded is not the easiest of things, okay? It, it's a challenge. And they do that for a reason, right? Because they want you to make sure you're successful and that you can be successful over time. So they don't want like a, just a one shot and you're in, you're out kind of thing. That's not how it works. So uh, I got my certificate. I'm excited. Um, they're a little tougher because they only offer seven contracts for a 50K account where Apex gives you 10. So it's a little bit tougher, uh, especially if you're using DRAM and things like that. So you have to be ultra careful. But I, I did it as a personal challenge to see if I could, you know, meet the standard of even a, a tougher uh, evaluation, which I did. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I still like Apex. I think Apex gives you more cushion uh, as it relates to contracts. Um, I think, but they're pretty much, they're very similar. Um, but they're both great companies. So whatever one you pick is cool. Um, they're both great. I, I would recommend either one. I like Apex for the what I just mentioned. And I'm an affiliate of Apex too. So uh, I can make a little money uh, promoting their products. I could do it the same with Lilu, but I haven't gotten to that step. I just, I, I don't do a lot of affiliate sales. So uh, Apex for sure though, I, I definitely do that. So what am I going to cover today? Um, the first one is, yeah, am I running a scam? Uh, I got an email from a viewer of my channel. Uh, I'll talk about that. Then uh, I've, I've gotten several questions on DRAM, like how do you manage it? I'll talk about that. Um, and then also about, uh, I got an email from someone asking, hey, I'm not consistent. I'm not consistently profitable. What should I do? And uh, through this q and A, I'm going to show you how you kind of, you know, create a plan. You got to have a goal. You want to win, but you also have to expect that you're going to lose. All right. And I'll talk about that in, in a little more in depth. And the last thing is uh, you got a journal. If you haven't done that, I highly recommend it. That's something new for me. So I've forced myself to do it. Uh, but I find that it's very valuable and it's like a self accountability. And I'll talk about that here in a second as well. So, so let me let me go with my first topic today. Well, before I jump into this topic here, let me go back to that slide. I just want to let you guys know, uh, I've been watching my carbs, drinking lots of water. I think I'm down like five pounds, which I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm working towards my summer body, but it's not the summer. I <laughs> guess it's going to be for the next summer body. So anyway, I'm um, having success. So all I'm really doing is um, cutting out some of the carbs. So like uh, if I go out with my family, I'll get a burger. Instead of French fries, I'll get some, I'll take a salad, you know skip the soda, drink some water, that kind of thing. So just very, very basic uh, adjustments, not, nothing major um, sort of thing, but I'm staying away from soda, chips, uh, I love brownies, not eating any of that, skipping the ice cream, you know, all that stuff that's like really tastes good, I'm skipping that. So uh, so, so anyway, having good success. So I'll, I'll keep you uh, in the, uh, up to date as, as I go through that. But uh, the, the first question, or well what triggered this topic was i got an email from a viewer and he said hey you're running a scam and i said hmm interesting but i wrote the person back because i do write to everybody that sends me an email i wrote him back and said hey uh if you've seen my channels and, and what i'm mentioning here on this uh, bullet points here is i say you've seen my funded certificates i've shown you the screenshots after the trades so you can see what the PNL, what the net PNL was for the transaction. I've shown you when I reached the profit target. 
and I'm showing you the certificates of funding, like Lilu, I just got it this morning. It's, I'm showing that. So I, I'm not sure how I can fake eight evaluations from two different prop firms. I'm not, I'm not sure how I can do that. The, thick, the second thing I said, hey, when you look at my trades, you see my the on the bottom right, and you'll see these stack up, and they're kind of annoying because I hate them because I have to click them off all the time. It's the notification. So Apex um, Rhythmic will post the trade when it gets executed, and they'll put it on screen to say, you know, long, boom, Apex, whatever, and it puts them all in there, right? And then if DRAM engages, it adds more contracts, so the notifications keep stacking up. I thought about taking those off. Because I got a tip from a, uh, one of one of my subscribers and said, "Hey, if you go into the into the notification settings in Rhythmic, you can turn all that off." And I almost did, but then I was like, hmm. "You know, for people like that, I think it's like fake trading. I figured I'm just gonna leave them on. They're annoying. I hate them. But I think it's a way for me to show that, hey, I'm 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 trading uh, Apex accounts, Lilu for the one time, and uh, and that's it. That's how that's how I approach." Uh, my trading um, this is what I do you know if you watch other traders on uh, on YouTube for other automation or they're manually trading I, some don't show you anything at all they just show their screen you know their chart and say oh here here's my trade but I, I you know not everybody shows what I show others may show more others show nothing so that's just what I chose to do that's just that's the way it is. Okay. Um, of course, I have losses. You know, no software is one hundred percent. No, no software at all out there. But the way I do my videos, though, I approach them in a way to say, "Hey, there's automation, but you you should approach it a certain way so you can be successful." If I, if I showed you a video where there's consol consolidation and you lose $500, I, I don't think I need to show you a video to, to show that because if, you've, if you're new to trading, you probably figured out consolidation is not good. If it's a lot of chop, it's not good. Uh, if you're already trading, you've already experienced it yourself. So I don't find a point of saying, oh, well, yeah, there's a losing trade and consolidation killed me well yeah I, I don't think i need a video of that what i choose to do though is to say here's a winning trade and this is how it's unfolded and this is how you could replicate that that's the approach i'm doing so you can so i can help you be successful um it's, it's in the next paragraph here that i mentioned is like i've already proven it to myself that I'm consistently profitable. All right, guys. Seven accounts, one more on the way, eight. If 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 I wasn't consistently profitable, I would not pass. That's just the reality. Are you gonna pass every time? Of course not. I didn't pass everyone. And and when I first really got started, um, this was even before November, because I had started back in April. I've tried, I wanna say four five different bots and systems and all kinds of stuff i was blowing account after account after account <laughs> i did i didn't give up uh, but it wasn't until i got my auto reaper pro that i really started seeing success that's when i got six of those funded so it worked for me and i'm now sharing information as to how it could work for you uh, how i can show you my tips and you know tips and tricks and, and see if that works for you uh, but in the end, uh, if you don't believe me, that's okay. You know, I, no feelings hurt here. Uh, a lot of people are people that I've never met that are saying some of these negative things. And it's cool. Hey, you can have your opinion. Um, if you don't want to watch it, it's cool. If you don't want to subscribe, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep talking to the people that want to listen to me, right? That want to learn. And there's some good stuff today. And I hope you learn um, what I'm about to share with you today. Uh, another thing I, I've never said to all of you, even via an email, I've never once say, go buy this. Never, ever. I have asked you to say, hey, 
if you're going to sign up for a prop f uh, firm, uh, sign up through my link, and I share the Apex link. So I get I do get paid from that. Um, it's great because I do make um, enough. So like when these big specials come out, I'll load up on accounts and and uh, uh, run them and show you and I do that. So it kind of covers my expenses, but I'm not getting rich. You know, th you know, these accounts don't pay a whole lot. You know, it's not like I have a million subscribers and all of that. Um, I'm still working to towards my first thousand. I'd love to do that because then Google will pay me for my views. But right now, none of that's happening. So um, if you've written me, uh, you've known, you know that I have replied to you. And I've given you my honest and best advice that I have. Uh, with my experience and the knowledge at the time. I'm always learning. Uh, I get tips from other uh, users and they share their th their thoughts and, and their settings with me and I incorporate them into this. So uh, I've written everybody back 100%. And even that guy that, that wrote me the, the, the scam email, I, I also wrote him back. So again, I just wanna end this section. I'm gonna let it go. Um, any emails that I get like that in the future, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna block them. I'm not gonna ignore them, uh, because that's what it is. I think that's all I want to say on the subject. So I was kind of bummed about it. Kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, to be honest with you. But um, you, you gotta take it in stride, because some people will just always uh, not believe. But it is what it is. You you kind of uh, help the ones that we want to be helped. Uh, and that's the, the folks like you that are really care. Um, you want to do something different. Uh, and um, you want to give something a chance, you know, and, and, and I appreciate all of you for, for that. So manage DRAM, how do I do it? Uh, a couple things that, that you can do. So if you have a smaller account balance, like a 50,000 uh, K uh, eval from Apex or Lilo or whoever you're using, one thing you could do is you can turn it off and you engage your automation. When you clear, you see the clear direction, right? You look at the chart and you see a lot of purple background or you see a lot of gray background and you can pretty much see like, oh, it's going up. Uh, turn the automation when it's in the trend and uh, you follow that. You know, you look at the background, the indicators that the software paints for you, you'll see those follow direction and that's worked uh that's worked for uh one of my subscribers uh he's got the ripper x he asked me about it and i said oh just follow direct and follow the trend and it's gonna hit most of the time of course there's gonna be the time that it doesn't so you can always adjust your your stop your tick stop you know option number two is you can switch down to micros so instead of the nq you go to the mnq Instead of the ES, you go to the MES. And then you turn on your DRAM. And then you set it up like it's meant to be. You let it run. You let it adjust. But if you take a hit uh, during consolidation with DRAM, uh, it won't be a huge hit to your trailing drawdown. So that's one uh, uh, option. Of course, your profits aren't going to be as large either. But if you're slowly building an account for, to pass an evaluation, or if you get funded and you want to slowly Build it up so you don't, you know, you know, blow it up or something like that by trading too many contracts or something like that. You, that's one way to do it. Uh, another thing I've done, so and I'm I'm still in testing mode, uh, and I'll share my results with you all. So let's say I'm I'm trading three contracts on. It doesn't matter which one it is. If it's uh, the reloaded version of the Auto Ripper Pro or the Ripper X, whatever it is. Uh, if I trade three contracts, what I'm doing now is I'm only letting it adjust by two contracts. So instead of, before it was matching, so if I had three, I would do three adjustment and then three again and three. So those were kind of adding up pretty quickly. So you could go from three, six, nine, like that, right? So what I decided to do is just adjust it by two. So when DRAM engages, uh, I'm not gonna get it all back in the following trade. All right, so what it's gonna do is you're gonna recoup a, a, a chunk of it. And then as you continue to trade, you'll, you'll make that up uh, a little slower. 
but I thought that might reduce, uh, uh, you know, hitting that trailing drawdown. So I'm testing that feature. Uh, I've been doing that this week uh, with the new Reloaded uh, bot that just came out for the Outer River Pro Reloaded. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd try that on that. Again, the idea is to slowly recoup any losses instead of trying to get them all quickly, trying to get them all at once. So that's that's my uh, recommendation. So uh, give it a shot. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're doing something different and it's working for you, let me know. Happy to share it uh, with the rest of the, uh, the the crew here that's watching uh, my videos. Okay, next topic. How do I create a daily plan? And sorry, my video here is my image is blocking the the text. Um, I didn't think this through. Maybe I can minimize it a little more. Something like that. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Make it smaller. You gotta have a training plan. It's a hundred percent key to success. I when I first started, I was just turning it on and I would see my profits go up, like I go up three, four grand, and then boom, I would blow it up and I'd be like, What am I doing wrong? You know, well the, the problem was that I was just trading just for to for the sake of trading and I didn't have a goal and I didn't have a plan. So so here's what I would recommend. And you can tweak this any way you want. Uh, you can adjust your profit target, but this is very, very simple. So I'm gonna break this down for you. So when you get an Apex account, it has a trailing drawdown of 2,500, right? So let's say uh, we have a goal to make between 500 to 1,000 a day. You know, if you trade three contracts, let's just say that's, that goal. this goal could be 250 to 500, okay? Uh, this is just as an example. But then you also say, if I lose 500 that first trade, then you're done trading for the whole day. And I, I know I'll, I know you guys are thinking out there like, what? <laughs> like, I could lose 500 and be done for trading for the day? No way, right? But you have to be, you have to, and this is the reason why. So in order for you to hit your trailing drawdown and fail an evaluation, that means you will have to lose for five consecutive days. Back to back to back to back. I don't know if you've seen, well, you've seen my videos. I can't say that everybody's the same or anything like that. But um, that would be very unusual that, that you would lose five days. You might lose one, maybe two, but you're going to be ahead more often than not. All right. So, it is, and I say here, and you can read it on your on the screen here, but it's not realistic to say you're going to win every day. You're not. But it's also unlikely that you're going to lose every day. So what I'm saying here is that you the bot puts you in the, with you know, it's got automation that's going to put you in the best possible scenario based on what it knows, right? Whatever the logic that's built in, the AI, whatever, however the bot is designed, is designed to have certain parameters that are, of course, you and I don't know what those are. Uh, and it's gonna run based on that. But you as a user can add additional elements to your trading that can help you. Creating a plan is one of them. Another thing you could do is if you see the market, and I, and I and I talk about this in my videos, like I'll say, hey, look, the market's doing this. Don't hop in. Don't do it. Yeah, DRAM can help you, but don't jump in on purpose. If you see it, just wait. Okay. Sometimes you'll jump in and it's still in consolidation and you don't know, right? You don't know if it's going to go up or down. It's going to break out. You don't know that. But if you actively see the consolidation, just don't turn it on. And if you see a move, then jump in. And it could go into consolidation again, but you didn't know that, right? But at least you, you made an effort to say, I'm going to wait for a little breakout in, in a direction and then engage, all right? If you're seeing, and this happened on Friday. I think there, were, there was a news event on Friday. I, I'm not sure. But my Ninja Trader chart was all over the place. Like it was in like seconds, 
you would see like a huge swing. It was swinging like 30, 40, 50 points and up and down and doing all this weird stuff that if you had on the automation, I don't care what automation you were using, that you wouldn't have been able to keep up. Rhythmic wouldn't have been able to keep up. Um, so normally when you see the um, Ninja Trader chart at the bottom, it's, it's broken up in incremental uh, time. It, in each line, it represents like three, four minutes, something like that. Well, on Friday, the Ninja Trader chart was like, half of the screen was like one minute. So it was like literally like, you know, like two minutes was covering the entire screen, where you normally see like 20 minutes worth of trading or something like that or more, uh, because it was so volatile. So things like that happen. There's a news event, don't trade. Wait till after that, things settle down and then there's opportunity after that. Uh, one thing you can do, and, and this is part of your training uh, through through True Trade, and they also, they also provide a PDF with some suggestions, but if volatility is really high, you can adjust your bar size and that can help kind of smooth things out, right? So like, like, let's say you're looking at like a one minute chart, it's gonna be moving of course every minute, right? But if you're looking at a one hour chart, it's going to move in an hour. So it'll kind of smooth things out. Well, a higher a, a higher bar size kind of does that. It, 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 because it's a bigger bar, it kind of smooths some of that volatility. And it gives the bot a, a, a chance to, to engage and, and take a good trade. So anyway, refer to your trading on that. I, I tend to run the 25, the 20 bar size. But as you can see, it's it gets pretty hairy. And you see me take those trades, but I'm kind of used to it, and that's how I trade. It may not be the best for you, so kind of kind of look into that, put it on sim, and, and give it a go, and, and see what you think. Uh, another thing you can add uh, to your plan is to use a setup. You don't need to do this. You you have great automation that has great logic, AI, and it can put you. In, in, in high percentage trades. But one setup that I've learned, this is not mine. I learned it from another person. I wouldn't mention his name, but uh, he taught me this. Uh, again, you don't have to do this, but I'm showing you the setup. So you can kind of think, uh, this is one of those teaching moments that hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going with this. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, put my mouse here. So when you saw this beginning of the big move, and I don't have the bottom of, of the time here, but this was market open. So when the market opened, this was on the 13th. And you can watch my video uh, for July 13th. This was my first trade. Uh, so I, I turned, you know, my I started recording, market open, and it made this huge move to the top. There's no pullback. Uh, there were a couple little pullbacks, but didn't close in a downward uh, bar. They were all, all white, means, that means it was going up. Then it hit this peak. Then it's, and then it immediately went down, right? So right now there's no opportunity to really enter the 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 market with with our automation because there's no entry point for us yet. It made one bar move, and then came down. Made three bar move, came down. One bar move, came down. Three bars down, came down. If you were to be a guessing person, what do you think is happening? Okay, I think you're kind of seeing it, right? Buyers had a huge move, sellers took over, buyers are trying a little bit, not having much luck, buyers are trying again, and then this is this is my setup, and I talk about this in the video. It almost, I think Friday, it didn't work. DRAM saved me on Friday. But I think if you look Monday through Thursday's videos, you're going to see this setup and you'll hear me say in the video oh this is a repeat of yesterday and this is a repeat of a repeat of the day before that because this setup hits and i kid you not I, of all week only one time it didn't hit and gram saved me and it was still profitable so if, if, there's a lot of good stuff here so um watch the video take notes and the future, because this is going to be a long video, unfortunately, I, I, I can't compress it, you know, I'm talking, and but I think there's a lot of good info here. So watch it, rewind it, take some notes, you know, and, and, and take a screenshot of this if you want to with your computer, 
put your phone, whatever you want to do. But this is what you want to look for. So you saw the gray background. It made us switch to purple, which is telling us that it's trying to make a down move. Then you saw this gray background. It's an up move, but look how narrow that is. Super narrow. Like it's almost like non existent, right? So basically, you're seeing a transition from an up market to a down market. Do you have to be a rocket scientist to, to figure this out, guys? It's just, it's just visually, you can see that we're moving from an up to a down. Color is changing to purple. It's a down move. But one thing we have with our automation, which I, I really want to commend the, the folks at TrueTrade about this, because they have these indicators here that white line in this purple line, it's a little bit of an angle. Um, if it was flat, I'd be like, mm. but it's got a little slope to it. And uh, I turned my automation right here before this bar closed. And uh, because I figured, hey, it's making a down move. Everything that I see is telling me a down move. Buyers are not taking over. Looks like the sellers are gonna take over for a little short while, I don't know for how long, but at least for right here, this is where we're going. And sure enough, this straight took off, but entered. We hit our first profit target here, and then our runner uh, got stopped out. When I got stopped out here, the PL was 675. So once you take away commissions, uh, that's going to be more like 600 bucks, or maybe a little bit less than that. So if you have a goal of 500 bucks, this is it, you're done. One and done. And you, and you shut it down and you try again tomorrow. So this setup worked four out of four, four out of five times this week. And it works for me a lot. Now, let's say the market's going up. What do you do? Are you gonna wait for a down and wait for this exact thing? No, nah, of course not, no. If it's going up, then you just wait for the gray background and that your trade, your price is above the indicators and then your automation is going to take a trade long. So it's just the opposite, same concept. Short if it's below and the background matches, or you go uh, long if the if the uh, if if it matches over there, uh, going long. So if everything matches, then you go for it. Uh, my final recommendation here is to keep a journal, and uh, and I do this and. Here's what I uh, here, here's a snapshot of one of my entries and that I wanted to share with you. Uh, it's my personal journal, but I wanted to give you a sense of kind of what's going on in here. So maybe you can incorporate some of that. So this is an entry from 5322. So on this left page here, which I didn't take a picture of it, um, I was uh, going through an evaluation. So I like to uh, write down the account number. And I write down the date that I traded, and then I'll say, okay, if I need to trade for 10 days, when is my final day? In this case, would be the 20th, would have been my final trading day to meet the 10 day requirement. So I check them as I go each day, and next to it, I'll write positive 1,000. The next one might be minus 500. One day might be positive 200. It doesn't matter, but at the end, by, the, by that 10th day, most likely I would have met that goal. Okay, so I keep track. And, and, and then I take my, and then here, and then this page here is my my notes that I take on, on my uh, my personal journal. So this is on 5322. So here I said, hey, on, on May 20th, think, thinking about whether to make a withdrawal, and sorry about the sloppy writing. This is just how I write. And I said to myself, it might make sense to build up the accounts this will allow for either a larger withdrawal in June or continue to build out Apex and I blocked out my account numbers because I, those are funded accounts and I want people to know that. Uh, then I, I say here, I wanna to continue to focus on small increases that will build over time. Do not take unnecessary risk, right? Don't need to, because the goal is to build over time, right? And then you also should do some sort of uh, uh, visual uh, or written affirmation that you say, I am a successful trader and will reach my goal. So you've got to get your, your mindset to, to do that. 
And then this is my plan for the next day. So 5-4, I said, I'm gonna take uh, low risk trades over around $500 profit or stop at 500 or so loss. No more than one or two losses max. So that's that's my entry. And then on later on the fourth, then what you would do is you would do an entry and say, well, how did how did I perform? And did I follow my plan? What what went wrong? And what can I do to to fix it next time? So that's that's what you can do uh, for for that. So with that, um, I think that's the end of my presentation. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching. Uh, send me your questions. Let me know what you think of this video. Uh, if there's something that uh, I should have covered, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to see that people are actually having that they're having success. Uh, not from me in particular, but with the automation. Uh, I'm hoping that I help people, but hey, people can be good just on their own, right? Uh, there's one person that got a $100,000 account funded recently. Uh, one guy has five funded and he's working on his sixth one. And I think he's only been trading for like a couple months using the automation. So he, some of these people are on like on a faster track than I ever was because I was, you know, I started as green as can be. I had to figure this out. I got it down now, but not back then. But people are actually having success and they're doing it way faster. So that's pretty cool. I like, I love seeing that, that, that people are having success. And, uh, and uh, I get to celebrate that with them, you know, because it's cool. We're, we're, we're not competing against each other, but we're helping each other. And that's what I hope I, I can do for, for you. Um, with, with my videos and my Q and A's and, or when I write you a, a personal email, uh, I hope I can do that for you. But with that, um, have a great weekend. Uh, as always, enjoy time with your friends, your family, uh, try to relax. Um, Monday's another day. Don't be thinking about trading. Don't stress yourself out over that. But Sunday night, get your journal out, start writing your, your trading plan. If you stick with it, write your entry, say, I stuck with it. If you didn't, say, I did not stick to my plan, but here's how I'm going to change that next time. And then you continue the cycle. Say, did I do it or did I not? If I didn't, why? And what am I going to do to fix that next time? Just keep doing that. And it'll, it'll ingrain in your brain. Uh, you saw my setup. Watch it. Go to the video. Watch it unfold. And then you can see you'll start seeing patterns. They'll be like, ah, oh, Guillermo was talking about this and this looks just like that. This might be a good chance. And it's probably a good chance, but you never know. We don't know what the market's gonna do, but we, we take our chances with it, right? Uh, but with that, uh, enjoy your weekend. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys on Monday. I'll post a video on Monday. I'm not sure which bot I'm gonna do. Um, might be the X Reloaded or the Auto Ripper uh, Reloaded. I haven't decided which one. I have limited time, you know, so I, uh, and I don't want, I don't want to bombard you with so many videos, but I like to do one or the other and then talk about how, how the trades went and, uh, you know, how we can do better the next time. Or if it's a good day, then we talk about that too. Uh, and, and what went right and how we can, do, you know, duplicate that the next time. So again, have a great weekend and I uh, will talk soon. All right. Take care now.